Do you remember this reply from Fidelity on Twitter? I think a lot of people read it, but not a lot of people put so much attention to it. If somebody was short one AMC share before the ex dividend date, they would be short one share of AMC after the actual dividend is distributed plus one share of the ape as well. What this actually means? This is the real explanation from Investopedia. Just focus on this very simple explanation. In case of a short investor, prior to the split of a stock, they owed 100 shares. They borrowed 100 shares from the broker on the open market. Let's say AMC was at $2, right? But after the actual split, they owe double the amount of shares. They owe 200 shares. There is a two major issues for the short seller. First of all, when they actually borrow AMC shares, AMC could have been trading for $2, $5. During the AMC stock split, AMC was at $18. This means that even before the actual split, short seller was on loss. After the actual split, if both securities are run in one higher, this means that not only he's gonna be losing on two securities, double the losses on one short position, which should be one short position for one security, because of the split, this short position grew to double short position on two securities related to the same exact short position. Going back to the explanation, after the split, the short seller of 200 shares, if the short seller closes the position right after the split, they will be buying these 200 shares on the open market. Remember, originally they borrowed only 100 shares and they short these 100 shares. They went on the market and they sold these 100 shares, expecting that the stock price will go down. The stock price went up, AMC got split, right? And they still have to find not only buy back on the open market, much more expensive AMC, but now, according to Fidelity, they have to find even amount of the ape as well. If they short 100 shares of AMC last year and they didn't close their short position, now they have to not only buy 100 shares, try to find and buy real 100 AMC shares, but they have to look, find and buy back 100 apes as well. And the example here on Investopedia assumes that the stocks didn't change their value. He shorted at, at, at 20, the, the, the stocks were traded sideways, he didn't see any profitability, he went on open market and he buy back the shares. Uh, the Investopay doesn't include the possibility of synthetic shares, didn't include the possibility of stocks going higher and higher. If both securities, APE goes sky high, 20, 30, 40, if AMC goes to the level of, of parity between both securities, because like I mentioned, they're not gonna cover 100 shares, try to buy them on open market on whatever prices AMC is trading, $100, $1000 whatsoever. They have to buy the equivalent of apes as well. So they have to go out, buy uh, the amount of shares that they, they short on AMC at $1000, crazy losses. Then they have to go uh, and find the equivalent amount and buy on whatever price ape is. Hundred, five hundred, three hundred dollars. You understand that the losses will be doubled. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about, and much more, uh, you know, optimistic and bullish on. Instead of focusing on what happened with other stocks issuing dividend and having uh, the people who actually borrow the shares, right? Because this T, T plus ninety essentially means that shorts borrow the shares, million shares of, of AMC, right? They went on open market, and they sold the shares. Now, the dividends have to be distributed, but they don't have the, the shares, they have to deliver the dividends, they don't have the dividends, they're going to be forced liquidated. Uh, we've seen so far that not all of the rules, if not all of the rules, don't apply to them. I will be more focused on, on seeing these double, uh, double losses, buybacks on open market causing much, much greater price action and losses. I mean, I don't know, I could be wrong about these guys. But this is something that I, I believe a lot of people overlooked. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come back for more.